Let's get straight into it. Welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make these meatballs, turkey meatballs with loaded spaghetti squash. And I'm adding my veggies to my ground turkey. You can use ground beef, pork, whatever you want. I'm adding shallots, peppers, and some spices. You can use whatever color peppers you prefer or you can leave it out. It's optional. I just wanted it in there for texture. And you know, <laughs> so once I season it, I add my egg and my panko breadcrumbs. You don't have panko, use whatever breadcrumbs you have on hand. Just make sure you use a low sodium one to, you know, let your salt. You want to mix this up really, really well. And that's it for the mixture. It's like I said, it's going down into a sauce. So you don't need to overdo it. You don't need to overpower it with seasoning. And so make sure you watch all of that. Just do what I'm doing. Pretty much do what you see me doing okay um, so this is what it looks like once it's done all right so I'm gonna set that to the side and now I'm going to do work on the spaghetti squash so this is what the spaghetti squash looks like I'm gonna cut it right down the middle you could put the meatballs over rice potatoes anything like I said this is a budget friendly meal and I just wanted to show you guys how I'm making it so you could pretty much eat those meatballs with whatever so you want to scrape the seeds out like I'm doing right here you don't want no seeds all up in there honey okay we don't do seeds <laughs> I'm gonna drizzle it with oil salt and pepper and you know you want to really lube it up really well no pun intended but you want to get it nice and greased because it will stick on you and I didn't have parchment paper today that's why I really greased it and the pan but if you have parchment paper at home you're good to go you don't even have to worry about it it won't stick for you and I'm gonna sprinkle it with some salt and pepper and once I get the salt and pepper over there I just brushed it all over I also greased the pan that I'm gonna bake them on now the reason why I went with spaghetti squash is because I just wanted something healthier and lighter versus mashed potatoes or like rice you know i eat rice a lot anyway so i just needed needed a break so you want to put the cut side down on your pan and pop it into a 350 degree oven until it's nice and tender this is what i'm going to use for the sauce this is a store-bought sauce that i got from the randall supermarket it's so good it's spicy with heat and flavor so you want to like i said with the meatballs you want to watch your seasoning and your salt because you really didn't even need it um, I'm also going to use some fire roasted tomatoes and we're going to be good to go. So now I'm going to be searing off my meatballs like I'm doing here. You can pop these in the oven or the air fryer and you're fine. Um, I just wanted to do it on the stove top faster. <laughs> it's faster and I wanted like a hard crust on there. So that's why I did it on the stove top. And you already know it's nothing like making a sauce or putting a sauce together from pan drippings. Like it's just really good. So the drippings from the turkey and the seasonings, the peppers, the shallots is just going to add to the sauce once we put it down in there. So as you see here, it's nice and seared and golden on all sides or most sides. <laughs> it's not cooked all the way through. It is going to finish cooking in the sauce. So, you know, don't worry about if it's cooked or not. Just sear it really good like I have it here. So to the drippings, I'm going to add half the can of my fire roasted tomatoes down in here and get everything nice and gelled together. I didn't want to use the entire can. I feel like it's too much. So I use half the can down in here as well as I'm going to put the sauce. I didn't use the entire bottle, but I used more than half of the bottle. And um, because I am going to add more ingredients to this, I add a drizzle, a quick drizzle of honey because of course the tomatoes and the sauce the reason why i added the little honey is because i feel like that peanut sauce needed some sweetness again it is spicy as in heat and flavor it's really good actually um i'm probably going to be repeat buying this sauce because i really like it and it's quick it's easy you know i'm a busy mom now i don't have time to be making all these sauces from scratch <laughs> so you know this is definitely going to help and I can't wait to try it on chicken, too. Y'all know I love me some chicken, child. I cook chicken two, two to three times a week. So the same seasoning that I used in the meatball, I did sprinkle a little in here. And I'm going to mix it up, add the meatballs back. I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for about 15 minutes. 
and you're done. Do not cook these meatballs forever, you guys. They're turkey meatballs, they cook fast, and you don't want them to be overcooked. Once the spaghetti squash is out the oven, I know it's summertime and y'all like, Misha, why are you turning on the oven? Listen, I wanted some spaghetti squash, okay? <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn it cut side up like I'm doing here. Like I said, I wish I had some parchment paper, but it worked out anyway. It's perfect, it's tender, it's good to go. It smells amazing. And I'm going to flip it over, zhuzh it up, and we're gonna be good to go. This is also easy for meal prep which I did have meatballs left and I wish I had two spaghetti squash because then I could have put some up but this is the perfect meal for two people and it's super cheap literally the ingredients was less than $20 to get except for the spices of course but everything else it was less than $20. Once the squash is out the oven I'm gonna grate some parmesan cheese down in here you can add butter you can add more salt pepper whatever you want but like I said, the sauce is so good, it doesn't need much of anything. So I just added Parmesan cheese and then I fluffed it out and it was just good to go. Of course, by itself, if I was eating this by itself, which I've done a few times, I would add some butter and some more salt and pepper to it. But again, the sauce is more than enough for everything. So after I fluffed out the little frizzies, <laughs> I didn't even know what to call it, the flesh of the spaghetti squash, um again it's up to you how much cheese you want to add or anything like that you can add whatever to this or you can leave it plain that's fine as well and now i'm going to add the meatballs right on top and look how pretty beautiful and delicious this looks like i know like i said it's the summertime you probably eat this in the fall child but listen i wanted it and it was so good so so good and so the rest of the meatballs, I'm probably just going to put in a Tupperware bowl and keep it moving. But thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate your support. And for sure, I will catch you guys on my next one. Make sure you comment your requests below. And also check out my description box for ways that you can help support my channel. Or if you have any questions, requests, concerns. Everything is in my description box as well as some recipe ingredients. But thank you guys so much for your support and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye!